is up, everybody? Crypto muscle. Oh, yes. Another compelling, riveting, thought-provoking video coming at you. Cash FX. The Crypto Outlaw. Biggest icon in the space today. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And oh, yes. Worldwide syndicated. All across the world. I smother the globe with muscle and crypto. So here we go. Cash FX. As I do every week. There's so much content I got to do on the daily. And I always got to make room for cash FX. And it's a double-edged sword. Because, one, it is a platform that got me to the dance all right i'm always going to credit cash of x for getting me to where i'm at today i started my youtube channel pretty much on cash effects because you know i was i started out with at the very beginning july 2019 and uh you know all these failed token platforms that happened and it was funny because um, I think shortly before Cash FX, uh, Nova Chain just failed. It just it just went into their uh, their mode of oh um, we're not going to be able to do this anymore. Blah blah blah, and that was the end of Nova Chain. <laughs> and so I saw that, and uh, this came up, and it was different. So when I dug into it a little bit more, and I saw the appeal it had, the types of people that were getting involved with it, I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. So I got into it, and uh, I think a couple weeks later, I started my YouTube channel, and that is history right there. The rest is history, right, is what they say. And so from there, had my run, and uh, recently ended, uh, not quite three months ago, it's close to three months it's like two and a half months ago um to where i'm at today and so a lot of people ask you know why did you stop i told my reasons why i stopped or you know here's another one that recently come up was well you could have still been in it right now if you just continued right which is true it's true i could have been in it still had i chosen to continue um but I don't know, I just, I, I keep going back to some of the things that raised questions to me. And that's where I'm at today still, right? I'm still thinking about how there's really just not much happening, all right? They could, see, they could keep talking about how they have all this stuff in development, they have all this and that, whatever, but... You don't see anything. I haven't seen anything. I mean, I tuned into the that whole end of the month webinar that Cash Effect just you know does, right? And uh, I watched that, and it's you know the only face that you usually see throughout all these different videos, if you want to have a representative face, is uh, Kinnear, right? John Kinnear. Yeah, there was a Huascar in the video too and all that. I watched that. But it's the same stuff over and over. You, you get from John, right? Same thing, you know, business presentation over and over. It's the same, 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 same stuff. He, it's like he puts on a different shirt and talks about the same exact thing all the time. Uh, and yeah, Huascar did bring up you know, news about their building and all that stuff, right? And that is what came into question recently, right? With uh, various people pointing out whether or not the cash effects building is real or if it's fake or whatever lot they're on, whatever it is. I, I, I personally don't even care uh, whether or not the place is real or fake. Um, I'm looking at overall perspective and whether or not are they doing things and to me they haven't really been doing enough 
for me to be like, oh shit, you know, I'm going to keep continuing to upgrade and upgrade and upgrade, which I was doing. Right, because I started with 500 and just before launch, official launch, November 2019, I put 10,000. I upgraded 10,000. And then throughout the time, I have upgraded to 20,000. Then I upgraded to 30,000. And then right when I had the opportunity to upgrade to 40, which was this past February, I was like, ah, that's when I put my foot on the brakes. And then I was like, you know, because last year, 2020, it was a good year. Yeah, despite COVID, they didn't have a lot of, well, they didn't have, they had zero live events, right? Um, they had zero activity uh, in terms of events. They had a lot of online stuff. But it was still a lot of nice flow, nice conversation, just nice. You know, things were just still going along nicely. And that's what it was last year. But as it started going towards the end of the year, you know, the world started improving. And it's the same stuff over and over, right? Oh, you know, once we'll get live events going once again, eventually. Oh, we're working on regulations. Uh, what's the progress on it? Well, we're working on it. We're working on it. Okay. <laughs> it's good to know. I mean, I know you're working on it. Either that or no answer, silence, right? Just no answer. It's like they, they just ignore it. Especially when you get the people like the Sally's and, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, Justin live in the telegram room. They're active. They're talking. The minute you throw that question out there, it gets ignored, right? And it's like, all right, well, that's kind of weird. And either they'll stop talking all together and the activity of them talking ends and then they'll just come back in at some point, right? Or they'll, they'll just be like this uh, non-answer and they just go on to different things to answer and when questions are asked. It's like, wow, that's crazy. Um, that's about the only thing I saw before I got, I got booted was less and less Justin, because he was very active in the Telegram chat and became less and less and less active and visible to where all of a sudden you have this new character named Cash Effect Support started popping in and doing the same thing Justin was doing. I, I don't think it's Justin because I doubt it. I don't think he would want to call himself cash effect support, but there was no cash effect support as an admin in that telegram room before. But when Justin started to be less visible, that's when this cash effects admin support call, whatever that, how we call him, um, became more active and it's like wow that's kind of interesting luigi's way been way gone way way gone haven't seen him in ages um and then uh who else is left i mean the mount rushmore supposedly right there there used to be four four to five faces right uh the mount rushmore of cash effects is like down to just what maybe two faces all right john Kinnear. And uh, Huascar, and that's it. But the other ones have kind of faded away, right? Uh, there's that other guy. Um, he does the marketing platform of it, which you barely don't even see him anymore either. Um, it's just kind of weird to me. And uh, yeah, the, and then it all comes to this whole copy trading thing. You know, they've tried to tinker with it. Because things weren't happening initially. Um, still doesn't change the fact that 16 plus countries are no are not able to utilize it. So you can't even utilize the product. And on top of that, the regulation question comes into play. Right? They're working on it. They're working on it. They're working on it. But if you're in the U.S. and still happen to be a member of cash effects and Canada. Um, how's that going to, you know, do any good for you if you came and use the copy trading program? So what else is there then? Uh, I mean, to me, that that's where I'm just like, uh, yeah, what else is there, right? What else is there 
that we can do now. You can't do copy trading. Uh, you're not going to be grandfathered in anymore to continue with cash effects unless you do a VPN upgrade uh, or upgrade via UPN or UPN VPN right and that's where it's at so to me the hundred thousand dollar upgrade challenge still comes into play because of those kiss ass marks that are still out there all right kissing ass is because they're marks and they're cheerleaders like the Griffies and the Maddies is still here the challenge is still here I want to see you guys do the upgrade since you're so gung-ho about it you love it oh cash effects is this cash effects is that and don't be don't hide behind the oh well sorry you know they're no longer gonna accept upgrades you guys will find a way you guys are marks and marks like you guys and anybody else that are marks for cash effects thinking that this thing is gonna be oh you know forever and ever and this is like the greatest thing ever um, yeah I want to see you guys do the hundred thousand dollar cash effects upgrade to that because you guys can and they'll let you and that's what I want to see so besides a hundred thousand dollar cash effects upgrade that you guys won't do and use the excuse that oh you know uh, they won't let us yeah right you guys are such marks that that's what you guys do you guys are so fake that you you guys will hide behind that and be like oh well you know this it's just I mean I, we can't come on you guys will find a way don't use that excuse all right bunch of marks and so with that as well um, they're not working on regulation because does it really take this long to do it it can but how about give us some progress let us know what is happening is, is the paperwork still just sitting on the desk I mean what is it uh, have they have they met some of the guidelines but not all of it and is there some of it that you could meet in the middle uh, I mean things like that how about let us know some of the progress instead of um, we're working on it or zero silence that's what I'm waiting on to the, the whole building bullshit fiasco that's happening right now whether or not it's legit whether or not it's there or it's not um, I don't know they have this thing where it they were like, it's still the same position as it was uh, a year ago when they first showed it. It was just an empty floor. You show it again today, it's still an empty floor. I don't know. They have all this stuff, conspiracies, all this stuff. But to me, I don't care about the building. Uh, but that's just me, though. And I care about the marks because they won't do it. They won't upgrade. I care about um what's going to happen to the rest of the u.s once it all is not allowed to upgrade anymore and is there truly regulation being worked on this thing on getting this thing regulated no i i don't think so so you can come at me and say oh we are working on it well sh then tell me show me <laughs> that's what i want to say and yes there is a divide because you have the president's club that sends down communications to the people below them, which to me is a bunch of crap. Um, yeah, I, I don't like that that crap where you got these people that are kind of like the the higher class people talking down to us people like we're lower class scumbags. And uh, yeah, I, that's what I don't like about cash effects either on that part, you know, like. It shouldn't be like that. Why can't Huascar communicate that? Why can't Kinnear communicate that? Why does that have to be the President's Club to communicate that to us? Like, you know, like we're a bunch of, you know, like it says, well, not we, you guys are a bunch of scumbags. Because I'm not in catch right now. So, just saying. Questions like that, I bring up. And the $100,000 challenge, I still bring up because you guys won't do it. So that's where we're at, and that's what I'll continue to pound on every Saturday, as I've been doing every Saturday, Cash Effects, whether I was in it or not. I've been doing it since July 2019, and no one can take that away. So other than that, comment down below, and I'll see you next one.